Hello everyone, welcome to Engineering and Economy. I am Dr. Nathan. Today we are going to discuss about string combiner box in solar PV system. As we look at this picture, we have different components, uh, PV modules, string combiner box, inverters, transformer, meters, energy meters and utility grid. So in this uh, picture, we have uh, two set of uh, PV modules. We call two sets of uh, PV string that PV string uh, connected to the string combiner box. So the string combiner box, look at here, if you uh, can see the, this is a string combiner box. So this string combiner box is as a basic function is to combine uh, different strings. We have two strings here, this is string one, this is string two. These two strings are combined here into a parallel circuit. It actually, string mean if you look at previous, uh, if you watch previous uh, videos, you understand the string mean we have a series connected solar modules uh, uh, connected together is called string. So we have two strings here. These two strings come into the uh, combiner box is to combine and make this as one output, which output is go to the inverter. So inverter receives only one output. The combiner box receives two inputs from the solar strings. So uh, if you look at the, in detail what is uh, happening inside the combiner box, if you look at these three strings, string one and string two and string three are uh, coming here and uh, we have a protection uh, devices inside the um, combiner box. We have a circuit breakers, circuit breaker. This is one circuit breaker, another circuit breaker, another circuit. These circuit breakers individually protect each strings. So let's say this string is 10 ampere. So 10 ampere coming from this string. Another 10 ampere coming from the other string. Usually we have a, like this, uh, we design the system like this. Another 10 ampere coming from the third string. So we have a circuit breakers in each string to protect each string the output we don't want more than 10 ampere coming the meaning is we don't want more than 10 ampere coming from the particular string and here we have another circuit breaker which combine each these three and make it 30 ampere so this 30 ampere output is going to go to the inverter so here we have an inverter so we will have an inverter here this output will go to the inverter so this is how the, the system works. So uh, basically inside the combiner box, actually we combine each uh, these three strings, one, two, three strings into here, together with having a, a, a safety system, the breakers, okay? So uh, the primary function is combining and another function is a safety uh, uh, protecting device, installing the protection devices inside the combiner box. Sometimes they, they combine here simply in some installation, they put the um, uh, safety, uh, um, the circuit breakers and, and another box. It's also possible. In most of the cases, they make both together. The string combiner box. It is necessary to use string combiner boxes to provide ideal protection for PV system against lighting strike and over voltage. So over voltage lighting strike, we have to protect the system. And the string combiner boxes, which can be connected immediately, are reliable system solution to protect the inverter directly from inverter. Now we know that uh, uh, the string combine after the string combiner box, next appliance is inverter. So whatever the output goes from the string combiner box, go to the inverter. So we need to protect the inverter. Inverter should not suddenly receive a, a, a high current or suddenly receive high voltage. So if it's happened, inverter will uh, fail. Inverter will uh, uh, become a faulty. So that's why to protect the inverter, we had to install the um, protecting uh, appliances. So over voltage coupling are diverted directly to the ground. If any uh, lighting strike over voltage happen, that's uh, convert into diverted into the ground. So here we see the overcurrent protection device. So this is usual uh, circuit breaker or fuse. In olden days we say is fuse. Now we have a circuit breaker. If it's a very low ampere, we use fuses. We say fuses. We have a circuit breaker. Circuit breakers is to uh, protect the limit the current. We don't want more than 10 ampere. Let's say 10 ampere is my uh, maximum current at uh, um, uh, maximum current at maximum power point. 
we don't want more current to come out of the string so that's why we installed the uh, circuit protection a search protection device this is a, a protect the system from sudden voltage rises that can damage the internal components so this uh, can be attributed to the lighting storm usually because of the lighting storm the, the like 1000 2000 voltage of uh, voltage appear in the system so that need to be that's a only occasionally very very rare incidents but we need to protect the system from that lighting strike uh, problem so that's why we use the uh, search protection device basically these high voltage suddenly damage the electronic components so to protect the electronic components inverter is also one of the electronic component that's why we are using the um, uh, protection devices so uh, here is a look at the string combiner box how, actually how it look like okay so by looking at these wires we can see we have uh, six number of strings one two three four five six so six, six number of strings coming into the uh, connection is mean if you want a detailed understanding six sets of panels in the roof they have wired in series some let's say five panels in series another five panels in another series another five panels in another series likewise they have six set of panels six set of series panels is coming to the uh, combiner box then it uh, they, we have uh, uh, these are the fuses these are the fuses then we have a big circuit breaker it's combine all the uh, power together then we have a search protection device and this goes to the inverter okay so now uh, if you have a battery it goes to battery otherwise it goes to the inverter so now uh, by opening this uh, combiner box itself you can clearly understand the system size actually you can see you can tell we have a six number of uh, strings uh, so it's a, a quite a big system because we have a six number of strings and uh, uh, by looking at the fuse rating we can see what is the fuse ratings of each strings and by looking at the circuit breaker we can see what is the total current rating is a 30 ampere or 40 ampere or 20 ampere so this kind of information is very useful uh, uh, for any troubleshooting and any any um, electrician to do uh, 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 work in the site okay uh, uh, another picture for the string company it's a uh, quite small system we have four string uh, coming into the uh, combiner box and uh, uh, we can see I can't see I can't read the data but if in real case if you go to the site um, install this inside you can open the string combiner box and get the detail about it so this is the outside appearance of the PV combiner box so what is happening in the combiner box as I earlier said uh, uh, two action one is combining all these strings into one output because the inverter want only one output inverter doesn't care about how many panels there they are inverter care how much current and voltage is coming to the inverter so that's the one another action is to protect the system we need to protect each string sometime you know some places like because of the fault some uh, panels are damaged or some panels are burning in some in olden days nowadays is not uh, we are not he hearing a lot of uh, these kind of issues material issues some panels are um, uh, uh, producing over over current so those kind of uh, things we had to protect each strings separate each strings we are handling separate that's why we have a string combiner box and this is another appearance of the string combiner box so uh, what is the purpose of this video I mean uh, when you visit uh, the sites we had to know that uh, by looking at the boxes we had to know what is uh, going on what is this it's a string combiner box so what inside the string combiner box, what is there and why we need the string combiner box uh, so the those kind of uh, questions will be answered so now you can understand if, we, if your system is very small one kilowatt system let's say one kilowatt system or 500 watt system we may not need the string combiner box because we might get the 500 watts from two panels two two number of two twenty uh, 250 watts panel so these two uh, panels will come in one string only if you have only one string then there's no string combiner box so if it's a like one kilowatt two kilowatt system very small system there may be there's no string combiner box it's because with one circuit breaker this comes to the inverter 
So if you have a large system, we have a string invert, uh, string combiner box, and we have uh, those th things. That's all. Uh, we come to the end of this video. Thank you very much. Uh, please subscribe this channel and uh, provide your support. Thank you.